Hello friends, this is Rupesh and you are watching CPP Nets video series on binary interview question series and this video is about finding that if all the leaves are at same level, meaning, see, you must be knowing what is binary tree. So the prerequisites are like you should know how to traverse a binary tree and what is binary tree, what is leaf node, what is parent, what is child and all that. So basically you should know what is the introduction part of the binary tree, okay, plus traversal. So if you don't know what is binary tree and all those uh, introduction part you go and check out this playlist initial videos you will get all those informations okay so we'll start this then so check if all the leaves are at the same level meaning see this is one level this is another level this and this so they all are different different levels what we are asking is check if all the leaf nodes leaf node meaning a node which doesn't have any child neither left or right okay so this 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 and this so they all are leaf nodes but are they at the same level answer is no because six is not at the same level so they all are so so this is one level but six is not at that level so if there is something like this so if there is some node maybe five so now six is not the leaf node and all the leaf nodes are at the same level so the answer would be true if this is not there, 5 is not there, then answer should be false. So this is what the question is. How do you go about this? I'll quickly erase all this. Think about it. Before actually going for the solution, you should always pause the video and think about the solution. Okay? You should not just directly jump or listen to my solutions because then it's like you're not pushing so much and you won't remember this for a long time. I hope you would have got the idea, but I'll, I'll help you with that. So... What we are looking is a node which doesn't have left and right. So we know there are three types of traversal like pre-order and post-order and in-order, right? So let's choose either of this. Let's choose this pre-order traversal, okay? Pre-order traversal. So what happens in the pre-order traversal? Let's suppose this is your function and this is your body. And in pre-order traversal, you do your job at this location and you have function call I mean, you will call to yourself with left or right and then this is another call with right if it is left. Okay, so you can swap these two lines, doesn't matter much, but this is the idea. You do your job with that particular node, you have this root node and you keep on calling this roots left or roots right. So this is pretty standard, right? Like you have this recursion kind of thing and you, you do the checking at this location before actually going for the left or right of that particular node. So basically, if you're standing at this one, then you will go from this place to this place just because of this one. And once you are done exploring this whole thing, then you will come back and then you will start going for the right one from here to here. So this is pretty clear, right? Okay. Now what I'm telling you is the moment you reach to the function, you do the checking if this is a leaf node. If it is really a leaf node, in that case, you make that depth so you found that leaf node at what depth okay at what depth so this is 0 1 2 3 so you found this first leaf node at third depth okay because if you're choosing this particular recursion you will go from here to here here and here and by the time you're going from 0 to 1 2 and 3 at third depth you found that okay this 8 is actually a leaf node now you know that if i happen to find any other leaf node which is not equal to depth 3 then this is a false case meaning this is not a binary tree having all the leaf nodes at the same level but let's suppose you have done finishing all the nodes and this condition is always satisfied that the first one what you encountered was this leaf node and the depth was 3 and whenever you are encountering that some node is at leaf node I mean at leaf position then the depth is 3 only because it is actually a true case okay we'll see that with the program I hope you would have understood the concept so this is how your program would look like this is your solution class we have to concentrate on this helper function so we'll call this helper like this whatever we'll get uh, the root we'll pass that root as it is and 0 into this current depth so i'll explain what is this whole thing so we have this first depth so the idea is as i already told you the moment you will get the first leaf node and you will note that 
depth. So we'll note that depth into this first depth variable and we'll always compare that depth with other nodes if I found that those nodes are leaf nodes. Okay. So we need two variables. First is to store that found, I mean what you found and the first time. So let's suppose this is 0, 1, 2 and 3. You found that you got a leaf node at third level. So you will store that third level into this first depth. So we have first depth, you have stored three in that. And then you will go back from here to here and then you will go here and you found that, okay, this is also leaf node. And what is the level for this? This is also three. So the moment you are going from here to there, you need a current depth variable so that you can compare that with this first depth. So that's why I have used this current depth which is always incremented the moment you go to the children nodes. And once you are done with that, and let's suppose you're going from here to here, and then from here to here, and the moment you're going from here to here, in that case, at this location, the current depth value would be one only because this is how it works in the recursion or a stack. Current depth will ha have its older values, okay? Because we are not treating this as a reference here. So Whenever you are calling a helper function, in that case, this current depth plus one, whatever the value is, creating a new variable inside this. And the moment you are going back to the previous stack, that time it will point to the older one, which it created before. So as I was talking that you need two variables, this first depth and current depth. So I'll call this root with zero. So this is current depth with zero and root. So you pass this. First, you will check if this root doesn't exist, if it is null. In that case, this is true, meaning if tree is empty, then also all the leaf nodes are at the same level. So this is what the consideration is. And now this is your checking, but I told you, right? You have to check in the beginning if that satisfies, then only you go and do the traversal. So see, what is this checking? Roots left is equal to equal to null pointer and roots right is also equal to equal to null pointer, meaning it's a leaf node. So this is how you check if it is a leaf node or not. If that is the case, now we have two things. Either you have encountered the first time. So this is the first time case, right? You will encounter this for the first time. So if it is true, meaning your first depth was never changed, it was always equal to zero because you never changed it. So if it is equal to zero in that case, what you will do, you will make current depth, which is actually three equal to first depth. So now you have this first depth changed so which became three now and you will return true you'll you will return true meaning you will return true from here to here and the moment you are returning true from here to here you will reach here and if it is true so if it is true with negation then it is false so it will not go and return false it will go for another if condition which is calling your helper function with roots right so in that case you will go from here to here and at that moment your current depth is two plus one so you are again passing three so from here to here, you're passing three. Now see, the moment you're passing three here, what you're getting here is eight because of this one and current depth is three, okay? Because two plus one, you are sending from here, right? So that is three. See, now this is not true. This is actually true because this is leaf node. So see, first depth is equal to equal to zero. No, it is not because it is three now because it is not the first time I encountered. So you will go into the else case and you will just simply check if first depth is equal to equal to current depth. So first depth is three and current depth is also three. So in that case, they both are at same level. Okay. This is true. You will return true because this, the result of this comparison is true. You will return true from here. You will get true actually at this line. So if you are getting true for this uh, helper call with negation, it is false. So it will not go and do the false here. It will actually return true to its base, meaning to its parent. So it will go back to this place and see what was the current value for at this location one. So you have done exploring the left hand side whole part. Now you'll go to the right hand side. So how you'll go to the right hand side because of this one, right? Now you're going to this, uh, uh, this call actually, but with not two plus one, it is like one plus one. So now you are sending two here. So as you're coming here, you will see, okay, this is actually a leaf node because it doesn't have any left child or right child. That is true. And depth first, I mean, first depth is also not equal to zero because it is not the first time I encounter. You will check this one. And this time it is like three is equal to equal to two, which is not true. So here you will return false. So the moment you're returning false here, false with 
negation due to this it is going to be true and you will return false so you will return false from here and this is going to return false from here the moment you're returning false from here it will come at this one because you are going back from this to this and you would have reached to this location just because of the left okay it is pretty clear right you went to left uh, from this two so if you're going back then you are going at the same instruction okay so you're going here if this is false false with negation is true so you'll return false from here also so you will return false from here also so now you're not going here further okay so this is like you actually don't need to go and search because you already found that okay all the leaves are not at the same level so you'll return false from here okay and if this is not the case and if it has any another node which is having five in that or some value and if you see this all are at same level so in that case you would have come here with three value and that would have passed and you would have actually ended up doing all these traversal everything would have returned true and you would have returned true from here also so this is how actually this whole thing will work you need first depth variable so the moment you find the first depth you will store that and keep comparing that first depth with the consecutive diff leaf nodes as you traverse so that's it i think it was a little lengthy video thanks for watching guys thank you bye bye i'll see you in the next videos take care